Grace Mountain High School is a secondary school which serves pupils from the ages of 11 to 18. It has a role of approximately 610 pupils. The pupils in S3 have a mini iPad and the pupils in S4 to S6 have an iPad too. Two and a half years ago, Grace Mount were one of our first one-to-one -one pilot schools. They ran their pilot with their current fourth year, I think it was. The following year, uh, the decision was made to actually implement all of S4, 5 and 6 simultaneously on the iPad platform. It was the first full year that we'd used the one-to-one -one devices. I was worried that it would be a distraction to them, having access to other applications like social media applications, Twitter, Facebook, so on and so forth. But the results that we achieved in our department were, were excellent and proved that this one-to-one -one initiative is actually working. In the first year, there's that kind of experimentation with apps and there's sometimes a bit of an explosion of apps. Everybody's trying lots of different things and it's all fairly disparate and, and, and that's definitely the kind of first phase of adoption. We use a lot of shared calendars at the school. We're trying to promote that amongst the staff at Grace Mount High School. We have a page on our school website dedicated to iTunes U courses and, and, and calendars. I often use the calendar for homework. Not once this year with my National 4-5 class has a student failed to turn in homework because they are constantly reminded by it. Pop-up notifications on the iPad, you have a homework due in a week. So the parents see it, the parents can subscribe to the calendars if need be. And obviously by doing the homework, it's going to improve attainment. And I'm very, very confident going into the pre-1 period that my National 5 class are going to do very, very well in that. What we've tended to find with our schools when they move to the second year of their one-to-one -one deployments, they start to think, well, actually we need something a bit more structured and organised. And that's where things like iTunes U come in. I primarily use iTunes U as a method of delivery. I do a lot of work with iBooks as well, so our iBooks for our courses are on iTunes U. The fantastic feature about iTunes U is if I was working on a particular material and I wanted to update that, I would upload it and the students would be notified via a, a notification um, in their iPad. I learn physics at a different school, so I have to travel there for the class. I have all the course notes and all my work on the iPad. So I can continue my work here and send the work to be marked by my teacher over at Liberton. Specifically this year I've used Edmodo, huge, huge um, application, fantastic application, works perfectly with the iPads. Just last night I was marking student outcomes through Edmodo, they'd been submitted through Edmodo electronically and the student that actually had their, their, their coursework marked made these corrections in their house on their iPad and fed back to me an hour later. During assessments in maths, the teacher recorded herself doing the actual mock test and then uploaded it onto Edmodo and the pupils could access that and learn from that. So it was like having a teacher actually there. XMA are a national IT service provider and as an Apple Solutions expert, we are recognised as understanding how technology can be used to support teaching and learning and education. We are also authorised to fulfil Apple warranties and Apple Care services as an Apple authorised service provider. In Scotland, we have a local office based in Glasgow, which includes a team dedicated to supporting the deployment of technology in schools. Because Grace Mountain are at the forefront of this one-to-one -one device initiative, we get asked quite a lot of questions about what we've done and where we're going with the initiative. A key part of our improvement planning is our strategic planning and we intend to have a, a five-year strategic plan. What we are referring to is Vision 2020. What will the one-to-one -one policy look like at Gracemont High School in the year 2020? And a significant part of that will be the work with our feeder primaries. We will try to embed that within our cluster improvement plan to really see if there's scope for expanding the one-to-one -one policy not only in the junior school, but perhaps in partnership with the primaries that feed in to Grace Mount High School. XMA offers schools a bespoke package of products and services that allows them to meet their specific objectives and enables them to provide transformational learning experiences such as those highlighted at Grace Mount. Whether schools are looking to form their strategy or whether they are looking to scale an existing deployment, XMA have the team to help. The skills that you need to go and thrive in, a, in, in the modern world that are about independence and resilience and learning for yourself. I mean, we know now that when children leave school, they go to three, four, five different professions. They will be learning all the time. They will be relearning and the onus will be on them to, to take responsibility for that. 